Uh, still reporting, uh, broadcasting from near Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. About to get on the road to head south, uh, down to Knoxville, Tennessee first, and then on down to Houston. Uh, the last few days have been interesting, to say the least. Uh, stayed around a couple of days. I was thinking about getting out of here on Tuesday or Wednesday, but it got so exciting here, I thought, well, I'll just stick around. Uh, my nephew uh, decided it was a good idea to borrow his best friend's car and just go f away for a while, <laughs> just take a trip. Uh, it upset everybody. My sister has just returned from a retreat with A Course in Miracles in New Mexico. Uh, maybe not a sanctions course, but a very uh, obviously uh, powerful course. And they said that, you know, re-entry uh, might be a little difficult, which is one of the things I notice when uh, I do a month long. What we call re-entry is after a period of retreat, you come back in and, and uh, life may throw you some challenges that... Uh, uh, you don't expect, and it certainly threw one at my sister that she didn't expect, and so I stayed around uh, for the experience to see what would happen. Uh, and, I mean, just a number of interesting things, uh, APB out on the vehicle, uh, the police calling, my sister saying, you know, I'll let you know when I hear from him, when, he, when I talk to him. She was really precise with that, which I thought was brilliant. Um, when I talk to him, I'll call you immediately, and they called and said, we think you know where he is, and she said, well, I haven't talked to him, and what she wanted to do was make sure that he was safe, that the police didn't do anything extreme, which they've never been known to do that, so I don't know why she was worried, but she seemed to be a little upset about that or worried about it. Not. But uh, the whole thing was an exercise into trying to see the perfection of it, trying to be okay with it, trying not to be mad at uh, my nephew or my sister's son and try not to get so engaged and make him wrong. I mean, it's something that he did. It's part of life, whether it'll harm him or not, there's no way to know, but uh, just before he got to getting the car back, he called us and said, I've run out of gas. <laughs> so we grabbed a gas can, and like I said, there's an APB out on him, all points, points bulletin, and uh, he's sitting on the side of the road, and we pulled in, filled it up with gas. When we got him to his friend's house, he said, Fr he said Max, he said, one thing I don't understand, he said, you left here with no money. Uh, the light was on in my car for no gas. And he said, and now you're back and you've driven quite a ways. How did you do that? He said, well, where I stayed, the man was a blues guitarist and a real nice man. And I asked him if I could borrow one of his guitars. And so I went out on the, into the town. They were kind of, I said, I went into the town where they uh, lived and I busked for money. Uh, played on the street, made 15 bucks. Uh, my brother-in-law said he should have made 16 bucks and he could have made it back to the house with the gas he bought. But, but uh, enterprising. Uh, figured things out, uh, was in a stressful situation, did he create it himself, I don't know, was it, you know, I just, I don't know those things, I tell you, but uh, it's been an interesting and a well worth uh, staying here, uh, going south to see what I can do, uh, have some business down there, and we'll keep you posted as we travel along, www.micpeakperformance.com.